Dear Steven, as I sit here and think about all the things I want to say to you, I wonder how I can express my love in words on paper and how they could ever measure up to the feelings that I have for you. Our wedding day is a day I've thought about for a while. How we would dance, smile at each other, and how it would feel as I walk down the aisle to you. The day I become your wife will be a day that we both cherish for the rest of our lives. I want to thank you for loving me with all your heart and always being there for me. I cannot wait to start this next chapter in our lives. I know that you are going to be an incredible husband who encouraged me, cheer me on, and be there for me when I fall. I'm so blessed to have someone in my life who I know no matter what will stand by my side. I know that God had a plan to bring us together that could stay out. And I thank, and I thank him every day that he did. Lynn, five or six years ago, I sat with Andrew on a bench during Connections and told him how I would love to wife you up one day. Now we are less than 24 hours away from making that dream five years ago a reality. This relationship started as a fun fling in our early semester of senior year and has evolved into an amazing, well-rounded and loving relationship. When your mom pulled me aside after your family barbecue and asked me what my intentions were with her daughter, I told her that day that I really liked you and that things were serious. Well, now it really is serious, haha. <laughs> Thank you for always loving me and not letting my silly habits drive you crazy. Your hugs and kisses are the best part of my days. I couldn't imagine this world without you in it right by my side. After a bad day at work, you always cheer me up and are there for me. I promise from this day that we are married, I will never stop loving you and doing everything in my power to make you happy and keep you safe. Lynn, I cannot wait to start this new adventure with you. I love you so, so much. Marriage was established by God at creation. It is God's gift to us. Marriage is a gift where for the rest of your life, you don't have to walk alone in anything ever again. Marriage is the union of a man and a woman in oneness of heart, mind, and body. It is intended by God for their mutual joy, strength, and comfort. Oh my gosh. <laughs> Lynn and I have been friends for about 21 years now. We befriended each other the summer prior to first grade at our rec soccer team. And to my surprise, I was greeted by her familiar face in my first grade class that fall. I'm not sure how this shy, kind, quiet girl wanted to hang out with a bossy, sarcastic, loud mouth like me, but as opposite as we were, we were inseparable from day one. And when I say inseparable, I mean we did everything together. Our teachers even began calling us Lindy. Our friendship is a rarity, and I say that because if I never met Lynn, I truly believe my life would be completely different. I have a friend that I can share anything with and no judgment will ever be passed. She has always expressed optimism and encouragement when I needed it most and would also tell me the truth because she knew I needed to hear it. We've gone through so much together over the years and have experienced some of the best but also some of the worst times together. These of which I have, have truly made us closer. What I can say is I've never had a friend I've laughed as hard with, shared as many tears with, done as much dumb stuff with, or had as many friendship bracelets, friendship rings, friendship necklaces, and friendship keychains with as her. <laughs> Steven, will you have Lynn to be your wife, to live with her according to God's word and the holy relationship of marriage? Will you love her, comfort her, honor her, and care for her in sickness and in health? And forsaking all others, will you be faithful to her as long as you both will live? If so, say, I will. I will. Good job. I will. Lynn and Steve. Well, mostly Steve at this point. As I was growing up, I always asked my mom if I could have an older brother. <laughs> My mom explained to me that that was physically impossible. <laughs> but I'm now so happy to say I have the older brother I've always wanted. Thank you for always being there for my sister and being the one for her. Lynn. Oh, Lynn. 
<laughs> There's so many memories that I've shared together with you, but I think one of my favorite memories includes all your blonde moments. <laughs> Such as thinking a hippo is called a snuffleupagus, when you fell out of the kayak and started scooping the water out thinking it's all okay, but that doesn't be throwing your phone in the ocean when you w got scared by the waves. <laughs> but the one that really tops the cake is when you thought Genovia was a real country from Princess Diaries. And after I explained to her <laughs> multiple times that it's a fake country from a movie, she continued to sing to me their national anthem. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, it's my privilege to present to you Mr. and Mrs. Stephen Manny. Many people know here probably the last three years have been pretty good to us. We've had, well, this is our third wedding now. We ran out of manis pretty much to marry off. <laughs> we welcomed a new baby to our family and we've also had the first birthday to one of our family members here. And we couldn't really imagine ending 2018 any better way than with the marriage of you two. We just wanted to thank you for raising such a wonderful, smart, caring girl who is now tasked with raising our little brother. Because, to be honest, he still needs a lot of help. So mom and dad, as, long as we all know, this is your third son, and he got the lightest trip through the process of growing up. Things Rob and I got grounded for for weeks, sometimes months, never saw the outside of day for a while. He kind of just skated by all that, which uh, we have a little bit of an issue with, but we're over it now. Um, we'll still go through it. But Lynn, now this is your problem. You can ground him if you want. He probably hasn't been grounded in a long time, but you could do it. Put him right in his room, or you could send him over to babysit. Yeah, you do. You have to come babysit with him. We don't trust him. You're right. Stephen, take you, Lynn, to be my wife. I, Lynn, take you, Stephen, to be my husband. To have and to hold from this day forward, for better or for worse, for richer or for poorer. In sickness and health, to love and cherish, until death do us part, according to God, holy ordinance. And in these, I promise, to be faithful to you. I promise to be faithful to you. <laughs>